Karen Miller here from Asleep At Last. Welcome to another one of my videos. Please hit subscribe to be notified of when I do new videos. Remember to hit like if you enjoyed this video and all the links to my freebies, including my free nap guide and my social media channels is all in the description below. So be sure to go and check those out. Today I'm talking about newborns. So I do get a lot of questions from newborn mums about sleep. And so I think it's important that um, you know, I make people aware that newborn sleep is something that you can work on. I myself do work with newborns um, and although newborns cannot biologically self-settle until they are 16 weeks old, there are lots of things that you can do with newborns in order to promote healthy sleep habits and make it more likely that they are going to um, learn to self-settle and sleep better as they grow. So the first thing to think about with regards to newborns is that you do not need to worry about anything for the first few weeks. When you have just given birth, however, whatever birth that you had, whether that was a C-section, whether it was a natural birth, whether you had pain relief, whether you didn't, whether it was fast, slow, whatever kind of birth you had, you have just birthed a human being. You do not need to worry about anything other than looking after yourself and your newborn, as well as asking for help wherever you can get it. I don't want any new mums worrying about putting newborns onto schedules, monitoring awake windows, worrying about how much their um, sleep their newborn it should be getting during the day. The only thing you need to worry about with regards to newborns when they're first born is ensuring that they're getting what they need feed wise. Feeding in itself is a minefield and when you've never done it before whether you're formula feeding with a bottle or breastfeeding it's a it's a learning experience and you're both both you and baby are learning how to feed that's a process it's a journey often that can be a bit of a roller coaster for most mums so that in itself requires a lot of your energy so you know focus on feeding and the baby putting on weight and you recovering from birth and resting and being kind to yourself and reaching out for help like where you can. So that's the first thing. However, as the baby grows and, ba and newborn babies do change every two to three weeks, physically and developmentally, they change so much. By the time they've got to six weeks and they are, you know, can smile back at you, their cognitive de uh, developments have um, progressed. From about six weeks, I would start thinking about looking at some kind of awake windows. Now, that doesn't mean you have to put them onto a routine, a schedule, but just keeping an eye on how long they can stay awake for before needing a nap will help you to ensure that you are not dealing with an overtired newborn. You know, colic is a real thing. Um, they do get very they can get really bad colic around this time. They can also get, you know, just general wind pain. Um, so although feeding is usually established by now, other things creep up and can cause upset and crying. So you want to make sure that tiredness at least is something that's ruled out, which is why I recommend looking at the awake windows for this age group and having that as a, as a guide to ensure that you know when they're screaming that they're not just massively overtired. The next thing I would say is that when they get to about, as they're coming towards sort of eight weeks, I would be trying to focus on getting them at least one nap down in their crib or their cot, Moses basket, whatever you're using. Um, focus on just one nap. If you're trying to get all of their naps down and they have never had a nap not on you or being held, that's a big goal to give yourself and that can be quite stressful so I would focus on one nap usually the second nap because that's the one that you want to be the longest usually it's the middle of the day when they're really really tired this is a nap that they will keep um, as they grow into their toddler years so I'd focus on getting that one down in their crib now the first thing you can do to help with this is make sure that you are using a swaddle use a swaddle from birth you know there's many many different swaddles out there there's lots of swaddles with zips as well now so it makes it easy for them not to wriggle out wriggle out of it lots of people say that their baby doesn't like to be swaddled they they seem really upset when they're swaddled usually this is because you're swaddling them when they're overtired and babies aren't going to like anything when they're overtired so again keeping an eye on the awake windows ensuring that you put them into the, sw the swaddle before the awake window is up will help you to avoid them sort of like 
appearing as though they don't like the swaddle. So make sure you swaddle them, use white noise quite loudly in the room, get the room dark as well because that helps with melatonin production, blackout blinds are great for this, get the room environment you know correct and you're that will help you that will that will, all those things together will help you know give you the best chance of getting them to settle then you want to give them a feed babies at this age they will fall asleep on the breasts not much you can do about that um, i wouldn't worry too much about it if they do um, however if you are trying to you know get a good deep sleep whilst they're down as opposed to feeding to sleep i would move that feed a bit earlier when you know they're not really sleepy so that you get a little bit of a rouse off them before you put them down so once you put them down in their swaddle um, put them down uh, on their side and you can hold on to them quite firmly and start to pat either their bums or their lower back whilst you've got the white noise going as well and you want it to be quite firm so their head is kind of jiggling a bit that's when you know you've kind of got it right and they may cry at first um, and they may fuss and wriggle around initially but just keep persisting with it um, you might need to be a bit firmer with the pats make sure that they can feel it if they're crying and you should see them start to settle or start to the crying to sort of subside if it doesn't of course pick them up give them a cuddle um, try and calm them down pat them on you a little bit um, and then pop them back down again it's just a process a bit of trial and error back and forth um, and it takes practice so don't beat yourself up if you feel like you haven't nailed it the first time not many people do so yeah once you've been patting them for a while on their side you should see them start to drift off to sleep their eyes will start closing they'll go a bit more floppy um, and then you want to make sure that you then start slowing down the patting before eventually stopping the patting and make sure you always roll them back onto their backs as per safe sleep guidelines they should not sleep on their sides or their fronts they should be on their back roll them carefully onto their back when they're asleep um, and they should yeah they should stay in their crib but yeah they will need some assistance like i say because they can't biologically self-settle until 16 weeks you will need to do some kind of patting um rocking or holding to get them to sleep at this age but if you're trying to encourage them to sleep in their beds in their own bed rather than needing you to hold them this is a great way to start and then you can continue with that nap practicing this method and then eventually move on to the other naps um, and then then when they reach kind of 16 weeks you can start to um, back off that assistance and try and use your voice a bit more than the patting um, picking up just to help calm them and that kind of thing and that should help them to then learn to self-settle on their own so that's what I recommend um, once you've you're confident with the naps you can then move on to doing this at bedtime as well I hope you found that useful please hit like if you did Please also put your questions in the comment section and I can answer them for you there. I do have a couple of other newborn videos which I will link to um, at the top here now. And as I said earlier, I do work with newborns. So if you would like some more support with this and you would like to explore working with me, please head over to my website where you'll see a list of all my services. The link is in the description. Thanks guys.